Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover rates and unit rates. This is going to be part two, so I will go through two more examples. Now remember, rates compare and show the relationship between quantities with different units. So rates are just ratios that compare and show the relationship between quantities with different units. A unit rate is a specific type of rate. A unit rate is a rate with a denominator of one. It shows per one unit. Let's jump into number one where we have 350 push-ups in seven days. Let's write that as a rate in fractional form. 350 push-ups in seven days. So we are comparing two quantities here with different units. We have push-ups and days. Now we need the unit rate. So how many push-ups per one day or how many push-ups per day? We need a denominator of one. In order to get to a denominator of one, we are going to divide by seven. So 350 push-ups in seven days equals, let's divide by seven to get that denominator of one. Seven divided by seven equals one and that is one day. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top in order to keep this equivalent and proportional. So let's do 350 divided by seven as well. That gives us 50 push-ups. So 50 push-ups per one day or 50 push-ups per day. That's our unit rate. We can also write that as 50 push-ups per day. Let's move on to number two, where we have 774 miles in 12 hours. So whatever the case may be, we have someone that is traveling 774 miles in 12 hours. Let's write that as a rate in fractional form. So 774 miles in 12 hours. Now we need to find the unit rate. So how many miles traveled per one hour? We need to divide by 12 in order to get to that denominator of one. So 774 miles in 12 hours equals, well divide by 12 here to get a denominator of one, one hour. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top. So 774 divided by 12 gives us 64 and 5 tenths or 64 and a half miles per one hour. So this is our unit rate. We can also write this as 64 and 5 tenths or we can say 64.5 or 64 and a half miles per hour. So there you have it. There's part two of rates and unit rates. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.